Have you ever wondered why we laugh? What purpose does humor serve in our lives? Can laughter truly be a universal language, transcending barriers of culture, language, and even time? Today, we will dive into these questions and explore the world of laughter and humor. To begin our journey, let me introduce you to Henri Bergson, a French philosopher and Nobel Prize laureate, whose profound insights on laughter have shaped our understanding of humor. Bergson believed that laughter has a deep social function, and by examining his thoughts, we will uncover the true nature of humor and its role in our lives. In today's episode, we will follow a three-step structure. First, we'll delve into the realm of laughter and humor, examining the different theories that explain why we laugh. Second, we'll explore Bergson's groundbreaking ideas and discover the timeless wisdom within his work. Lastly, We'll discuss the implications of Bergson's theories and how understanding laughter can enrich our lives and bring us closer as human beings. Together, let us embark on this fascinating journey to uncover the secrets of laughter, unravel the complexities of humor, and ultimately, better understand the role they play in our lives. Let's laugh, learn, and grow closer as we discover the power of humor and the wisdom of Henri Bergson. As we delve deeper into the historical and intellectual roots of our journey into laughter, let us turn our attention to the remarkable life of the philosopher whose insights will guide us today. His contributions to philosophy went beyond humor, touching upon the very essence of human existence. Born in Paris in the mid-19th century, this extraordinary thinker not only shaped the course of philosophy but also helped us better understand the fabric of life. He developed revolutionary ideas in process philosophy and metaphysics, leaving an indelible mark on the discipline. His humble nature and relentless curiosity made him a truly exceptional figure. To truly appreciate his thoughts on laughter, we must examine the rich intellectual climate in which they were born. This period in history was marked by immense social and technological transformation, creating a context ripe for intellectual innovation. It was against this backdrop that our philosopher began to explore the intriguing nature of laughter and its role in society. His essay, Laughter, an essay on the meaning of the comic, stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of his ideas on humor. This seminal work has left a lasting impact on humor studies, providing a foundation for subsequent generations of researchers and scholars. The essay not only delves into the psychological and social aspects of laughter but also offers a unique perspective that continues to resonate today. As we move forward, we shall immerse ourselves in the wisdom and insights of this groundbreaking essay, allowing it to illuminate our understanding of laughter's significance. In doing so, we will come to appreciate the transformative power of humor and its ability to connect us all in a shared human experience. As we now venture into the heart of our philosopher's ideas on laughter, let us explore the key principles that form the foundation of his groundbreaking philosophy. Central to his understanding of laughter is the concept that it arises as a response to the mechanical encrusted upon the living. This notion posits that laughter is triggered when we encounter rigidity and inflexibility in situations where adaptability and flexibility are expected. Such moments reveal the comic nature of the incongruity between our expectations and the reality before us. Moreover, our philosopher emphasized that the comic often manifests as a deviation from the norms of life and society. When individuals or situations stray from what is considered typical, we are compelled to laugh. This laughter serves a vital social function. It highlights the absurdity of the deviation and encourages a return to the established norms. Let us now delve into the social function of laughter as we continue to explore the fascinating ideas of our philosopher. By understanding the role laughter plays in our society, we can appreciate its far-reaching impact on our lives and our interactions with one another. Firstly, laughter serves as a means of maintaining social order. When we laugh at deviations from the norm, we are, in essence, encouraging conformity. The act of laughing at the absurdity of an individual's actions or a situation sends a clear message to others that such behavior is not in line with societal expectations. In this way, laughter acts as a gentle, yet powerful, reminder of the importance of adhering to the norms that bind us together. Secondly, humor plays a crucial role in fostering group cohesion and conformity. 
Shared laughter strengthens the bonds between individuals and reinforces a sense of belonging to a group. When we laugh together, we are united by a common understanding, a shared experience that transcends our differences. This communal aspect of humor not only brings us closer but also helps to reinforce the values and norms that define our collective identity. In light of these insights, we can begin to see the profound impact that laughter has on our lives. Far from being a simple response to amusement, laughter serves as a social glue that binds us together and maintains the delicate balance of order within our societies. As we reflect on the wisdom of our philosopher, let us remember the power of laughter and humor, and embrace their ability to connect us all in a shared human experience. Now, let's examine the conditions under which the comic arises, according to our philosopher's insightful ideas. By understanding these conditions, we can better appreciate the subtleties of humor and the factors that contribute to the creation of a comic experience. One crucial aspect of perceiving humor is the significance of detachment and indifference. It is important to maintain a certain emotional distance from the subject or situation in order to fully appreciate the comic elements at play. When we are too emotionally invested or personally affected, our ability to find humor in a situation becomes diminished. Thus, it is through detachment that we are able to recognize and enjoy the humor in our surroundings. Another essential condition for the comic to arise is the presence of a shared understanding among the audience. The effectiveness of humor often relies on common knowledge, references, or experiences that resonate with the listeners. Without this shared understanding, jokes or comedic situations may fall flat, as their intended humor becomes lost in translation. It is the collective recognition of the comic elements that creates the magic of laughter and brings us together in a moment of shared amusement. Going further into the realm of humor, let us explore the diverse forms of the comic that can ignite laughter within us. These various expressions of humor each possess their unique characteristics and elicit laughter through different means. Incongruity, a central aspect of the comic, plays a significant role in generating laughter. When we encounter an unexpected juxtaposition or a surprising deviation from the norm, our natural response is often to laugh. This laughter stems from our recognition of the mismatch between what we expect and what actually transpires, revealing the absurdity or humor within the situation. The world of humor is rich and varied, encompassing an array of forms that range from slapstick to wit. Slapstick humor relies on physical comedy, using exaggerated actions, pratfalls, and other visual gags to elicit laughter. This form of humor often capitalizes on our innate delight in witnessing the exaggerated and the absurd. On the other hand, wit thrives on cleverness, wordplay, and intellectual humor. This form of comedy engages the mind, rewarding our intellect with the satisfaction of recognizing a clever twist or a subtle play on words. Wit often requires a keen sense of observation and a shared understanding of the context to fully appreciate its nuances. So, what about the power of laughter in coping with stress and adversity? The ability to find humor in challenging situations can provide a sense of relief and even act as a catalyst for healing and resilience. To illustrate this, I would like to share a personal anecdote. I once found myself facing a difficult and seemingly insurmountable challenge. The weight of the situation was overwhelming, and the stress was palpable. It was in this moment of despair that a dear friend shared a humorous observation that struck a chord within me. The laughter that ensued lifted the oppressive atmosphere and allowed me to see the situation in a new light. What once seemed like an insurmountable obstacle now appeared more manageable, and my spirits were lifted by the power of laughter. This story exemplifies the healing potential of laughter in promoting mental well-being and resilience. When we are able to laugh at adversity, we create an opportunity to release tension and gain a fresh perspective. Laughter acts as a balm for our emotional wounds, helping us to face challenges with a renewed sense of hope and determination. I'd like to share another story that illustrates how laughter can create a sense of belonging and strengthen social bonds among people. This example further emphasizes the incredible power of shared humor in uniting individuals from different backgrounds. Picture a bustling train station, where travelers from all walks of life waited for their respective trains. The mood was tense, 
as everyone appeared preoccupied with their own thoughts and concerns. Amid the hustle and bustle, a street performer began to entertain the crowd with a series of humorous skits and jokes. As the performer's antics captured the attention of the waiting travelers, they found themselves laughing together, despite their differences. The shared experience of laughter dissolved the invisible walls that separated them and transformed the atmosphere from one of detachment to one of camaraderie. As they laughed, they began to strike up conversations and exchange smiles, finding common ground in their appreciation of humor. This story highlights how laughter can serve as a catalyst for connection, bridging gaps between strangers and fostering a sense of belonging. When we laugh together, we create a common ground that allows us to see beyond our differences and recognize our shared humanity. In these moments, laughter becomes a universal language that brings people together and helps us forge lasting connections. As we conclude our time together, I leave you with an inspiring quote from Bergson, which beautifully captures the essence of our discussion today. Laughter is the corrective force which prevents us from becoming cranks. Let us remember that laughter is a force for good, a force that can transform not only our own lives but also the world around us. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of laughter and humor. Up until next time, take care and see you soon.